a thousand years ago in southern Brazil, everything was changing. The climate got wetter and wetter. The unique Araucaria forests expanded and the indigenous Jay people began to flourish. Now those people are all but gone and the Araucaria trees their culture depended on are critically endangered. But why did the forests expand a thousand years ago? And what can that tell us about their future? To answer these questions, we need the fossil pollen time machine. You probably know pollen can cause hay fever, but pollen grains also deserve to be known for their shells. They're made from one of nature's toughest materials. It's the diamond of the plant world. They can survive baths in our most corrosive acids, and if you can only keep them away from oxygen, they will survive for thousands of years. The muck in bogs or the bottom of lakes is perfect for this, and it accumulates in layers over time, trapping pollen as it goes. Now, different plants produce different types of pollen, so if you can identify a place as pollen, you can identify that place as plants. If you compare different layers of pollen stacked up in a bog, you can see how that place as plants have changed through time. And if you can find one of these natural pollen traps that's old enough, you have a fossil pollen time machine. It was these time machines that first show the Araucaria forests growing and shrinking through the ages, and most people have assumed that climate change made that happen. But no other expansion was as big or as fast as the one a thousand years ago, and the simultaneous growth and change in the Jay people who so depended on these trees has led some to wonder whether they played a part in its expansion as well. But disentangling these factors is difficult, so in my project we're using two pollen time machines. The first is on a hillside where no one's ever lived, and that should show us what happened to the forests when climate was in the driving seat. The other is in the remains of a Jay village, and that should highlight any man-made elements in the forests. Combining these two data sources with what we already know about the region's past climate should help us unravel exactly how climate affects and affected these forests. And this matters. Knowing how the forests were shaped by climate change will help us to make better predictions of how they will be affected by it in the future. A century of logging has already left Brazil's Araucaria trees critically endangered, and if we want to live in a world where our grandchildren can see these forests for themselves, we need to know how they'll react as the climate continues to change. When conditions get warmer and drier, will the forests shift to places that are cooler or wetter, or will they just get squeezed out of existence entirely? So you see, the fossil pollen time machine doesn't just tell us about the past of this ancient landscape. It also has critical insights about the future of its remaining fragments as well.